Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make 3 easy and simple car effects you can make in your next car edits. First I'm going to show you how to make shaky speed ramps, I'll skip speed ramp part, cause I've already made that tutorial. If you are new to speed ramping and new subscriber here, check my tutorial on speed ramps, I will leave a link in the description. Let's make shakes now, go to the moment where your two clips are, create new adjustment layer. Cut that layer where the second clip starts from, go 20 frames forward, Hold shift and press page down twice. Cut adjustment layer. Go to very beginning of that layer and add motion tile effect. Click on tile center stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Press U on your keyboard to open keyframes. Change tile center position like in this video. Now go 5 frames forward and change tile center position. We have to make it on every 5 frames, simply copy my settings. At the very end of the layer, right-click on Tile Center and select, Reset. Shake is ready. Let's avoid the edges, toggle on mirror edges and change output height and width to 120. Nice, add directional blur now. At the very beginning of the layer click on blur length stopwatch icon, change blur amount to 35. Now go to the middle of the layer and change amount to 0. Shake effect is ready. You can now duplicate that shake layer and move to your other clips. Let's jump to second effect, duplicated car effect. Grab a roto brush tool and double click on your video. Roto brush the car, make a smooth selection. Once you are done with selecting, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Under the roto brush, add feather a bit. Now duplicate your clip and rename it to car only. Select bottom clip and delete roto brush on it. Now select car only layer and then double click on anchor point tool. Move anchor point to the corner of the car. Now press R on your keyboard to open rotation. Click on rotation stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Now go to the middle of the video and add rotation as much as you want. Duplicate car only layer and press R to open rotation. Add rotation again. Duplicate car only layers and add rotations as much as you'll enjoy. Once you are happy, go to the end of the car only layer, highlight all rotations, right click and select, reset. This will bring rotations to normal. Enable motion blur on all car only layers. Then select all keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Now go to graph editor, right click and select, edit value graph, make a smooth curve like mine. Duplicated car effect is ready. Let's jump to car collage effect. Go to tracker and click on track camera. As the analyzing is done, select points on the car, right click and select, create solid and camera. Change X, Y and Z rotations and position it on the car. Duplicate track solid and change position of it. I have two track solids, so, I will have two car collage effect. I will toggle of top solid for now. Select the bottom one right click and pre-compose it. Make sure leave all attributes is selected and rename it to number 1 or you can name it to whatever you want. Double click on layer 1. Delete that track solid layer. Grab a rectangle tool and make shape like this or, make any shape you will enjoy, you can make any shape using a pen tool as well. Once you are happy with it, copy that shape, we will need to paste it to our another solid layer. Now drop here your video. Click on toggle switches. Change your video's track mat to shape layer. If the video isn't placed perfectly in the shape, press P on your keyboard and change position. Once you are happy, go back to composition. We have that one layer done. Let's toggle on our second solid layer. Pre-compose it and name it to 2. Double click on layer 2 and delete track solid in it. Paste the shape you have copied earlier. Right click on that shape layer, go to transform and change vertical and horizontal on it. Drop here your another clip, change track mat to shape layer, and change position of your car clip in the shape layer properly. Once you're done, go back to composition, position and scale both of your layers as you will enjoy. Add glow on that layers. I will use deep glow plugin. 
If you don't have deep glow, use After Effects Glow, that works fine as well. Let's make that effect behind the car. Duplicate your actual video and move it to the top. Rename it to Car Only. Delete 3D Camera on Car Only layer. Grab a Roto Brush tool and double click on your video. Roto Brush the car, make a smooth selection. Once you are done with selecting, click on Freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to Composition. Under the Roto Brush, add a feather to smooth the edges of the car. All three effects are ready. This was very quick and basic steps to make that three effects we meet on Instagram daily. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.